All right, this is Grade 4, Module 4, Lesson 8. And in this lesson, we're going to be identifying and measuring angles as turns, okay? And, and what that means is, you know, you, you have stu you know, directions, like you're in a marching band, and you'd say, all right, we're marching, we're marching forward. No, 90 degrees left. Now, what does 90 degrees left mean? It means if this is straight, then 90 degrees left would go left and now you're suddenly going this way and then if it says 90 degrees right and then you go oh now we're 90 degrees right and if you're supposed to do another 90 degrees what would another 90 degrees to the right look like oh right 90 degrees and so as long as you have this the students have this internal idea of this compass, so this 90 degree series of 90 degree angles, because a complete circle would of course be 360 degrees. So one thing is, as we're doing this, you can have the students all marching in place and 90 degrees right, boom, now they're all marching this way. And then you could say, oh, let's do 180 degrees left. Oh, now what would 180 degrees left look like? It'd be 90 plus 90 and so they would be facing in the opposite direction. So that's one of the things we want students to know in context is that a 180 degree turn means if you used to be going this way, I guess left, a 180 degree turn to the right would mean you are now facing in the opposite direction, all right? And so we can start up here and if you're going to go 270 degrees to the left, well, there's left 90, left another 90, and left another 90. So 90 times 3 is 270. So 9 times 3 is 27. So the idea would be you're going to, that's what a, a 270 degree turn would look like. It would be three quarter turns, to the, in this case, to the left. All right, so we'll get it back up here. And that's what this lesson is going to be all about. So teachers, parents, you guys can play some really fun games with your students and have them face in a particular direction and tell the kids, all right, march, and now march, 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 and then say 180 degrees left. Wah! And then, okay, march, march, let's do 90 degrees right. Wah! And then you can play that kind of a game. So let's do some practice from the actual Engage New York problems. So in this problem, we have three kids, Jill, Cheyenne, and Barb. And they're all standing in the middle of the yard facing the barn. Okay, so here is each kid, and they're all standing in the middle of the yard facing the barn. So when we're facing the barn, it says, now Jill turned 90 degrees to the right. Well, if Jill turns 90 degrees to the right, where is she going to go? She's going to turn 90 degrees to the right. Jill is now going to be facing the house. So I'll write that down. So Jill is now facing... Oh, I don't like the fact that I used an arrow. Let's do Jill uh, equals house. <laughs> All right, and then we're told uh, Cheyenne used to be facing the barn, okay, as middle of the yard is facing the barn. Now he turns 180 degrees to the left. Now what would that look like? Well, 180 degrees to the left. First off, we're going to be turning this way. That's 90 degrees plus another 90 degrees makes 180. So Cheyenne is, or Cheyenne, is now facing the fence. And then the last one. So we've got Barb. So, oops, I'm going to get here. Undo. Yikes. Redo. Okay. Now uh, I'm going to get my eraser and do a little bit of erasing. Okay, so Cheyenne uh, went to the fence. Now we've got Barb. Now Barb, okay, of course, she was starting out at the barn. And now Barb turns 270 degrees to the left. So Barb is going to turn 90 degrees to the left, 90 degrees to the left, and 90 degrees, whoops, 90 degrees to the left. So Barb 
ends up at the house. So interestingly enough, uh, let's see, Jill ends up at the house, and so does Barb. And then Cheyenne, or Cheyenne, lives, ends up at the fence. Now the thing that I think is kind of cool here is that Jill and Barb both ended up at the house, but they got there in two different ways. Jill, she just went 90 degrees to the right, but Barb did 270 degrees to the left, and they both end up at the exact same location. I think that's kind of cool. Let's move on. So this is a kind of a cool one. It says, how many turns does the picture need to be rotated in order for it to be upright? So you can see our poor little dog is upside down. And if we want to rotate it upright, so we, we just want it to uh, be you know, like normal picture <laughs> upright. So uh, how many quarter turns? Well, let's do one quarter turn. One quarter turn to the right. Now let's do another quarter turn. Two quarter turns to the right, and there it is. So one answer would be, well, we could do two quarter turns, oops, turns to the right. But the question might be, well, what happens if we turn to the left? What would happen? So let's reset, and let's get that going again. Let's see what happens if we turn to the left. So here's our upside down little doggy. And let's do a quarter turn to the left, one. And another quarter turn to the left, two. So it turns out two quarter turns to the left will also do it. Two quarter turns to the left. So it doesn't matter if you choose to turn to the right or turn to the left to, whoa, to get our dog to go right side up, it's going to require two quarter turns. You're either going to go two quarter turns to the right or you're going to do two quarter turns to the left. And either way, you're going to get a straight up dog. And this is the last slide for this video. We've got our little arrow here and it says David faced north. So he's facing north here. And then it says he turns 180 degrees to the right. So let's do that now. So we're going to turn it 180 degrees to the right. So there's a 90 degrees to the right, and then 90 degrees to the right. So there's our 180 degrees to the right. And then it says now he does 270 degrees to the left. So if we're going to do 270 degrees to the left, that means we're going to do 90 plus another 90 plus another 90, and that's our 270 degrees to our left. Now what direction is he now facing? He is now facing west. And that wraps up Grade 4, Module 4, Lesson 8, where we are doing the turns in various real-life contexts of 90 degrees to the left or 90 degrees to the right.